Okay, in this video, I'm going to use the pipe bender and put a bend on here and a bend on here. And then once, they're, once that's got two bends on it, I'm going to weld them to the bottom of my truck and they can be a handrail. Okay, so I've got six of them. going over to the tube bender. Here it is. Now, how the tube bender works, it's got a handle on it, it's got an extra handle on it. You've got different size dies. Okay, we are going to be using the 25 then it's got a matching 25 die here and then we have different sizes here and here 32 40 we've got little ones here as well I made this stand and you just can hang all of them on there all right here's another die here which should be Hanging on there. Okay, then we have another fitting here, which is for the 25mm tube, and you can get different sizes of them as well. Alright, this is the pipe bender. You feed the pipe in one end. Let's get a piece of pipe. Let's do it. Piece of pipe. Feed it in one end here, poke it through the little hole here. All right, we're gonna make all six of them the same. So I'm gonna start it flush at the end. And I might even put the camera in the stand for this one. Hang on a second. So how this works, is we put this flush against this edge here. This clamps this on. You can see the clamping mechanism there, it clamps it on. This comes off, it pulls out, and you take that out. Put that back in, and we put this in, and this is a little clamp. And it lines up with a hole underneath there, and we pull this on, and it clamps it up. Then we draw this around. Here we go. Now all I want to do is make six of them the same. So I need enough clearance to get your hand inside there. Let me cut it off. 80 mil. Probably go a little bit more. there 90 mil so 90 mil is to the inside of the pipe and to the outside of this pipe here so 90 mil Got a little bit more all right and what I'm going to also do is put a little I'll show you on this come out with me I'm going to put this on the ground here okay the reason I put that on the ground is I want to line up the handle, the handle that comes off there. I want to line up the handle with my spirit level. There's the spirit level, there's the handle, and I want to line them up so that when I'm finished here we go. When I get the handle to line up with one another, and of course I'm setting this up for the first one, then I've just got to be careful not to move the spirit level on the ground. And that will give me my angle every time be the same. Okay, so I've set that there now. 
and that's for that amount of angle we can see the pipe has been bent around here and it's there so if I do that at the other end it's the same I'll get this out we turn this around undo the little clamp and we can get this out now and there it is okay so what we're going to do with that is it's going to be a tie down rail and these are the spaces we're going to have okay it's going to be a tie down rail on the bottom of the truck so if I make six of them put the other end back in poke it through to the same distance you can see it right there it's coming through make it flush with that edge there tighten the little clamp we need to make sure that this is level this is level with this here so that we get the same bend on it and there I'm looking at it and showing you how level that is okay once it's level we've tightened the clamp off and we're going to pull this around back little bit more check it again a little bit more check it again there we go so I haven't moved that spirit level on the ground it's just a visual guide for me to not go too far then I take this out Turn this around, undo the clamp, and bring it out. And there we have our handrail. All right, so I've got to do six of these. So I'll quickly go through and do the six of them. I'll put this one over on the bench over here, come with me, and I'll set you up on the stand and this should only take about five minutes to get all six of these done. And I'm wondering if I can sneak you in here close enough to watch everything that's going on. Right there. Poke this into here, fingers flush on the end, do up the clamp, turn it on. Pull it round, lining up, a little bit more, a little bit more, done, pull that through, undo that, back in the other side, clamp that off, what you probably can't see, maybe you can, me lining this up again. There we go. Pull it round. Lining it up a little bit more. And there we have it. There's another one. Next. in flush on the edge there tighten the clamp it gets tricky using the pipe bender when you've got to meet measurements that are insides and outsides that's where it can get a bit tricky but this one's quite easy it doesn't matter if they're slightly different if this truck is doing 100 kilometers an hour down the road, no one is ever going to notice. There 
it is. Pull that through. Second one done. I'll get the last one and show you that we've just made twins. There they are there. All right, come down to this end. All right, there they are. Beautiful. Number three, number four. The twenty five mil pipe is the most user friendly. As you get bigger, you need a bigger bar on it. I don't have a hydraulic pipe bender. Just got my hand drawn. I've had this for 15 years. I bought it second hand. And it's just do and repeat. One more to go. That is our pipe bending masterclass. Very simple little exercise, that one. Not difficult at all. There's a couple of other adjustments on here. You twist this around if you've got to put bigger pipe in. Obviously, bigger pipe, smaller pipe, everything's adjustable with where it needs to go. And then you put in a bigger die. You have to wind this back to put the bigger die in. This is the adjuster. Right, you've got an in and an out here as well. So that's our pipe bending master class. And one, two, three, four, five. And the sixth one is on the bench over there. Happy days. Thanks for sticking around and watching a little pipe bending master class. Thank you. Okay, to make these uh, handrails sit flat here, I have to trim a little bit off. And I want to trim off the same off both sides. So I'm going to draw a little mark on here to make it square and then trim off the same amount on each one. So if I keep that to about there and I'll put a mark on there, Okay, there's my little mark. And then I just put that down on there every time. Should be able to knock off the same amount every time. Just 
hearing protection, be your eye protection. And away we go. Perfect. Okay. finished result. Six little handrails. Thank you for watching.